It's on. Come on. Oh, well, oh I can't God. believe it. The Six News Show, BBC One, with George Alagaya. Good evening and welcome to the Six O'Clock News. Interest rates mm. are to rise It's starting, Gwen. More. We'll be there now. The health department announces more cuts on the way. A murderer strikes again in Essex. A dismembered body is found in a Villa Ricky car. Hey! Cracking. Do you know what show I'd like to be on? Stars in their eyes. Who'd you be? Well, it changes on a daily basis. If I had to go right here, right now, David Bowie. Gwen, stars in their eyes, who would you be? Mm. Susie Quattro. Mm. Ness? Prince. Every time. Yeah, yeah, I know, the dismembered body. That's meek. Christopher Gernon. Yeah, it's the third item on the programme. Yeah, all right then, bye. Where are you going? It'll be on any second. I know, I won't be long. So was it chopped up? Well, yeah, and it was charred like it had been burnt. You all right? Yeah, I'm just having some chocolate. We're eating a bit, what's up? I don't know, really. I've gone down, if I'm honest. Oh, come here, why are you feeling down? I'm just a bit bored, you know? A bit useless. And your dad being on the telly and that just reminds me, I've never done anything like that. He found a dead body, babe. It's not really an achievement. I know, but I just feel like I'm getting under everyone's feet. You're all on me to get a job and, if I'm honest, I'm just a bit homesick. Oh, come on, we can't have this all the time. Oh, I knew you'd say that. Nessa's coming up tomorrow, we're looking at houses. Flats. You've got to try and be a bit more positive. There's no point talking about it, you just don't understand. I missed it! No, it's next item up. Quality, where is he? Michael! Mitlar! Pamela! Oh, what a treat! Take it high! Pete Loney on the back wings. My feet. Dream. That's all over the box. Been on the radio, I know on ya. Rudy texted me, said you was 53, Billy bullshitter. Uh -huh. <laughs> so how's everything with the baby? Uh, yeah, good I think. Yeah, we went for the... Um... Scan? Yeah, and all good. We got the... Um... Photograph. Yeah, I've got it somewhere. Actually, where is this? In my... Um... Wallet. You got it. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that's the head and that's a little arm there. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Looks like you, Pete. Only taller. <laughs> <laughs> it's on, it's on! Come in! Come on! Come on! This morning on a busy industrial estate, Lindsay Hughes is at the scene. I'm standing in the car park of a large engineering firm here in Billericay, and at approximately 7.30 this morning, a dismembered body, as yet unidentified, was discovered by a Mr Michael Shipman, 53... <laughs> ..directors, and this is what he had to say. Well, it's the last thing you expect to find when you come into work in the morning. Later, I spoke to police detective Richard Shedd. Detective, what can you tell me about the situation regarding the body and how it was found? I'm afraid I can't disclose anything at this time. Detective, thank you very much. And back to you in the studio. A study of obesity released today claims that many male drivers Say face it. potential risk because they're overweight. It's claimed that they're more prone to heart attacks and Is that off it? Was that it? Ben Hopwood has more. Well, I'm bitterly disappointed. Test, I <laughs>